Hello, I hope you're keeping well. Um, I've come on for a bit of a chat today all about rosacea because April's Rosacea Awareness Month and I thought it was just a good opportunity to do a bit of a touch base and um, talk about rosacea because it's something I find myself talking about a lot but it's kind of happened by accident. Um, so if you're not familiar with rosacea, it's a skin condition that causes lots of different types of redness in the skin and there are different types of rosacea. So for some people, it might cause red flushing. For some people, it might cause a bit of red texture. Um, it can cause very painful pustules that look a bit like acne. It can be a combination of all of them. So there's varying degrees of rosacea. And I was diagnosed last year. And then, because I always do my videos on here and I start with no makeup on and build my makeup up, I started to hear from people saying, your skin looks like mine, I've got the same thing going on. And I noticed that everyone I spoke to felt like we were this really rare breed that had this thing that no one else has. But actually, it's believed that like one in 10 people in the UK have this. So there are actually loads of us. It's just that I think we don't hear about it as much. So I really like the idea of the rosacea awareness month because I think it can just be very comforting if you think you're on your own with something to hear that actually you're not on your own at all. And there's lots of different people in the same boat. Um, so I've written a few notes here to make sure I remember to say everything. So if you'll excuse me having a look. OK, so... What I then thought was, what's the cause of this? What's the cure? You know, how do I get around this? And basically discovered that it's pretty much hereditary and there isn't a cure as such. But what you can do is you can manage the redness. So there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, you can start to monitor in your skin which things are making it better and worse. And some things are in your control. So for example, stress flares mine up. That's not really in my control, so I just have to let go of that one. But there are other things, maybe curry, wine, uh, sugary things that really will flare it up. Now, I'm not gonna go giving those up, to be honest. That's just not gonna happen. However, if I've got a day that I know I want to have a really great skin day for, I'm probably not going to have all of those things the night before. So identifying those triggers is really, really key. And then you can kind of keep track of your own skin because everybody's rosacea is completely different and see what works for you and keep an eye on it so that you're juggling it the best you can. Um, another thing that I had to do was completely overhaul my skincare. Now, I love skincare. I love trying new things. I love different brands. I love mixing things up. A lot of these habits had to change. And I adapted a really simple, strict regime of as simple as I could find. So the kind of skincare I use is very simple, um, fragrance-free, Oh, I don't want to use the word boring, but really, really just keep it as basic as you can. And that is often a really good way to keep this under wraps. I've done a few other videos. If you go into my IGTV and go into the series section, there is a series called Rosacea. I've gone into loads of detail about products that I recommend. So rather than trying to advise each individual person on an eye cream and a moisturiser that's going to suit them, I've got these videos, have a little look, lots of different suggestions for different budgets, needs, all the rest of it. And hopefully you'll find something in there. But while we're doing a bit of an overview, I've just got a few things to hand that I thought it would be helpful to show you in terms of skincare. So skincare wise... CeraVe is one of my favourite, favourite brands of all time. And I'll tell you why I love them. The big size of this, that's 236 mil. And you'll get that, I believe, for under £10. The size is huge, the products work, and they're not going to run out for ages. So if you need something that is reliable and not going to break the bank, the bank Look at this brand. This is the moisturising lotion. Um, I really like the facial moisturising lotion. Um, the hydrating cleanser is a favourite of mine. Have a little look, can't go wrong. Stepping it up a notch, I use lots of La Roche-Posay. Again, very relatively affordable. Some products are going to be a little bit more of that midpoint price range. Um, I've showed you this cleanser, a milky cream, because another point I need to remind you with your skincare is you want to keep it as gentle as you can when you're removing your makeup. 
no harsh flannels, no harsh scrubs, anything like that. This cream, you feel like you're taking your makeup off with a milky cream and it will get everything off. I'm not going to lie to you, it's not as quick as your cleansing oil or your balm. No, it's not. It's an adjustment we have to make. A tiny bit more patience will make all the difference to managing your skin. Um, now, if you can stretch to it, I've started using some skin SkinCeuticals things and I've really noticed a marked improvement in my skin. This is the Epidermal Repair. There are lots of different things in the skin SkinCeuticals range suited to you. I can't emphasise enough and I'll keep circling back to it. Each individual person's rosacea is different. So what might work for me might not necessarily work for you. So have a little look on these uh, resources. I'm going to come on to a key one in a minute. Try and have a look at what sounds like you. You'll be able to pick and choose your products from there. And then a really important one for us. I mean, everybody should be doing this, but especially if you have rosacea, wear a high SPF every day. The sun in general and the heat of the sun is going to really impact that redness. So stick to your SPF and you are going to be really doing yourself a huge favour, bigger than anything. The texture of this, let me give it a shake first. This is the one I wear. This is the La Roche-Posay on Thelios. The texture is so thin. So... I'm really not going to accept any, oh, but it's thick and horrible, oh, but I want to put my makeup on nicely on top, oh, but it breaks me out. Try that one and let me know if you still feel that way, because I think the answer will be that you're converted. That said, again, there are lots of different lightweight SPFs you can try, you don't necessarily need to go for that one. Okay, uh, makeup suggestions. So a few key things I've got to hand here as well. When you have rosacea, what you want to look for is something that's going to give you, if you're wearing makeup, this is, and if you don't want to wear makeup, good for you. You want to be looking for something that will build your coverage and you want to apply it with a really soft touch. Again, go into that rosacea section on my IGTV. I have some application videos there to show you what I mean. You almost want to press that product on so it's doing what you need it to do and then don't mess about with it because the more you're rubbing and tugging, you're going to potentially just irritate that skin and also you don't want to take it away before you've built it up. You want to gently press that product on so that you're building that coverage if that's what you're trying to achieve. Um, I work with It Cosmetics as their UK and Ireland brand ambassador, just so I'm telling you that before you think, well, she didn't mention that. I've worked with them for just over two years. Um, and the reason why I started working with them, they invited me on to do that because I never used to stop talking about them and showing the results of how it covers my rosacea. So to be honest, for me, that's a brand I would really recommend for you. I wear the CC cream every day. As you can see, it's on its last legs. It gives me great coverage. You'll see that in my videos. If you don't want to wear a full, full coverage every day, they do this Bye Bye Redness Powder, which comes in three shades, that has a really matte, silky finish. You can almost just buff that onto the areas you want to cover, and it will cover them. And the same goes for the cream so if you would prefer a cream to build and pat and gently um press on go for it green products there's so many green products for covering redness and neutralizing the redness because on the color wheel green and red are opposite as a general rule i don't like them i think they make you look completely washed out and gaunt and I just don't I think they do a very good job. And I think you've got to put your green on and then put something else on. What a faff. However, as with any rule, there are always exceptions to the rule. And an exception to the rule that I absolutely love is the Daniel Sandler Anti-Redness Primer. This is so sheer. Give it a shake in texture. Oh, God, I've just done that and I haven't shown you. Let me clean my hand and do it again. Um so sheer can you see what i'm doing here and that green if you see it buffs out in a way that you'd be looking thinking is there a green tint isn't there have a look again i've done this on another video i'm going to put all of the links to these videos underneath here 
and also put all of this in a series on my, in, in a highlights thing on my Instagram so you can follow the links. If you see how that goes on, it will knock out all of that redness. You can put your usual complexion product on top and it doesn't stay bright green. It just takes the edge off. Love that. I think it's one of the best things I've used for redness. Now, the next person I want to tell you about is Lex, Talented Lex. So whenever I don't have an answer to something, I will always say to someone, ask Lex or have a look on Lex's website. Lex has been writing about rosacea for a really long time. She's doing loads for rosacea awareness month. So do have a look at that. Um, on her website, she has all of these resources that you can tap into. So how I was saying about the triggers a moment ago, she has these sheets you can download and it's kind of like keeping a diary. So you have a look and you go, okay, Monday I had curry, my skin was really bad. Tuesday, I came on my period, my skin was this, that, the other. Wednesday, I, whatever it might be. And by keeping track of those things, you can monitor those patterns and make changes so that you're managing your skin in the best possible way. Lexi's website is such a great resource of loads of stuff. And I just saw yesterday on her Instagram, she's doing a series over the course of the month where she reviews different foundations and how they cover her rosacea. It's called Rosacea Review. Really good. Speaking of Lex, there's a podcast I'm going to recommend for you. Um, Lex and I went on Sally Hughes's podcast. It's literally called The Beauty Podcast, so you'll find it really easily. And we had a whole discussion about, you know, everything, product recommendations, things that trigger us, um, everything you can think of. So Sally basically framed it with a load of research about what rosacea is. Me and Lex weighed in with our perspectives on it. Just if you wanted to delve in a bit more, it's a really um, lovely one to listen to. We all really enjoyed doing it. And I know I've had a lot of people say to me since, oh, I learned a lot from that or, you know, felt a bit less on my own with it. So I'd steer you in the direction of that one. I've only got a few minutes left. Um, and then the last thing I kind of wanted to touch on was I know that it can be a really emotional thing to have rosacea. Um I try and stay really positive about it and it's not to say that I don't completely sympathise if you're feeling a bit bad about your rosacea, I absolutely do, you know, um, I went on a date with someone a little while ago and I didn't give him anything that would mean that he'd be able to like, what, let's be honest, the first thing you're going to do is like look for their Instagram or whatever, isn't it? And I thought I'm not giving you any information about me that means you're going to find me because you're literally going to see video after video of me without my makeup on and I just thought no way like I just didn't have the confidence to be able to put myself in that position so I'm with you I'm totally with you it's not nice but I just think for the likes of putting things on my Instagram page I know that for the most part I'm just talking to you know a group of like-minded women that we're all in the same boat so it just doesn't bother me in that sense because touch wood I feel like whenever I do put something out there of my skin or whatever most of the time someone will come back and go me too exactly the same I'm getting this or I'm getting that so I know it's hard and it's not the nicest thing to have to live with and it is frustrating that there isn't you know a cream or a this or a that that's going to help us um but you will manage it and you will figure out what works for you you will absolutely start to find the things that take the redness down some days I just think, oh my gosh, what's happened here? My skin's looking really good. And you'll have those days. So I'm not trying to take away from how frustrating it can be. I'm totally with you. But we can we can manage it and sort it out. And it is something that we can really reduce. And I think that's a really um, important thing to remember. Um, since we've all been on lockdown... I've been FaceTiming or house partying or whatever and I've really had to just, don't get me wrong, I'd always kind of be no makeup in front of my friends and family anyway but I've really thrown it out the window because I'm not missing out on a FaceTime just because I haven't got any makeup on. So that's been a really good kind of healing process for me. Um, but anyway, a few bits. I'm really happy about Rosacea Awareness Month. Looking forward to seeing um, anyone else talking out about it. And if you've got any questions or anything, have a look at these other videos and feel free to get in touch and have a look at Lex as well. She's brilliant. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye.